Alright, so for this one, let's draw a fan ping ping, and this is a very nice uh, little glamour photo, very soft lighting, and uh, I'm gonna try to do, I guess, draw some of the softer, uh, hopefully I get a soft touch with this uh, 4P pencil here. So I'm just gonna try that all the way, and hopefully I can draw something kind of smooth, you know, just something kind of pretty. So, first of all, I'm just gonna mark out the size of the, um, the head. So let's say this is the top of a forehead. And let's just say, oh, actually you guys can't see this on the bottom, all right? So I'm gonna put it down right around here. So this is gonna be the chin. So here's the top of the head. And then I'm just gonna rough in real quick by using a hair because um, it's kind of coming through right along the side of the face. So let's see, the midpoint would be right around here. Okay, so this would be coming down to the chin just really rough so just an overall head shape here and I'm not too concerned about getting it accurate because you know her face is very pretty so even if I messed up I think I'll still be able to get a pretty face okay so let's see her nose right around here straight down and her lips right here so I'm looking at the corner of the nose if you go straight down it's gonna be the corner of her lip okay so just roughly I know this is probably made some adjustments, but just going with something right off the top. Highline right here, right across. Eyes. Eyebrow right here. Straight up. So when you're drawing this, um, you know, just try to draw lines like this, come across, like the corner of the eye. I'm coming across to this side, so it's gonna start here. So those, these little lines really help to help you measure, and you really need those. So don't be afraid to uh, extend the lines. Okay, so the corner of the eye. If I go straight down, it's gonna hit the corner of the, the nose right here somewhere. Okay, so this is probably gonna come down. Probably made her face a little too small right here. So here's her nose, I'm coming down. Here's her lip, and I know this is wrong already, so that's okay. So I'm just gonna continue on with the lip here. Coming down. This angle right here. Corner of her mouth will be right around here. And then I'll come down. Just draw a full lip here, round. Okay, so my chin is way off, and that's because I didn't measure um, all that correctly. So it's okay, I guess I'll be drawing a little bit bigger. Yeah, because the hair comes down a little bit more. Okay. So again, if you really need it accurate, just go ahead and trace it. Because, <laughs> you know, there's really not a lot of point in trying to freehand something and using the grid method or whatever trying to get something accurate okay so I mean we're just gonna try to enjoy the process of drawing here so as long as it's not some funny looking face we're good okay so let's start with that I think it's okay uh, proportion wise so let's start with this eye so this is gonna get the most attention so I'm going to try to draw it nice and soft. So here's the pupil highlight. You can just circle around it and just quickly shade around it. Okay. Eye here, dark. This one's darker. So I'm just going to shade up. I just kind of want to do some shading. So nice and soft here, and I'll hit those lines a little bit harder later. I just kind of want to loosen up my hand a little bit. So here's the eyebrow. And I know it's darker, but again, I just want to just try to draw this kind of shading. And if I want it harder, I'll just kind of push down into it. I'm just going to try to keep going. Whatever I see, I'm just going to shade it in. 
start to here and now for the other eye so I gotta this I gotta slow down a little bit okay, so here's coming down here, right here and then the eyeball inside and if you guys see me pull my hand out or I'm stopping it's because I'm looking up on the camera it kind of helps to see the uh, full picture a little bit more it's kind of nice to step back once in a while just to see what you're drawing so looking at the camera screen really helps actually okay so let's keep going so right here underneath the eye real soft this part's a little bit darker then this one's darker here so I'm just draw doing these kind of um, wiggly shapes it's a little ovals and you can actually just keep doing that um, to the more you do in one area it just gets darker and darker it's it's kind of like a slow and slow way of building things up but it's kind of fun sometimes and I like to do this once in a while keeps things moving okay so it's got a nice soft look to it which is kind of what I'm going for so let's just keep going here I'm just gonna keep going down this part right here is slightly darker Right here is even darker. Let's see overall this side is, should be a little bit darker here. So now for her nose, um, try not to draw these harsh lines like this. Instead, just kind of shade around it. See if you shade the back side of it, if you get that shading right, the nose will just automatically pop out. So that's one reason I kind of like these kind of wiggly shapes. So that you don't end up putting like really harsh lines. Okay, so when here's dark, I'll just push in. Now that I got like an overall shading to it. So this kind of photo obviously is uh, highly touched up. So everything is very soft and you know, there's no blemishes. All right, so now let's see. Let's keep going down. So a lip right here. Just let me outline it. Get a little bit more cleaner line, and I'll start shading on it. Dark here comes around. Okay, so here's the highlight right here. You can actually circle that. So in here, it's gonna be dark. I'm just gonna give one shade first. And then for the inside, I'm just going to really push into it. Okay, right here. And down the corner, it's a little bit darker here. Up here. So inside right here, you can see uh, the teeth inside, so it's not as dark. Okay, so now we can shade it. And so for the top part here, I'm just going to shade it all. I know there's some highlights, but it's a little bit too small for me to try to avoid that. If I want it, I'll just, um, you know, use a eraser, cut it out, just erase it out or something. All right, so right here, this part, this part is always darker right here, this little edge. And then right in the center, it's a little bit sharper here, so I'm going to make this a little bit darker. And then as it comes around here, right here, it's a little bit darker. Right here is light because um, you're getting a bounce light from the bottom, so it's really important to keep this part slightly lighter. And then this one's gonna sharpen up. It's gonna hit that, and then the top right here is a little bit darker. Okay. So even see right here, that's a bounce light right there. It's pretty important to leave that, or else the um, without those bounce light, um, it's kind of hard to see the shape of the lip. Okay, so right here, um, the lip is red or orange, right? So it's going to be a little bit darker. And then right here on the bottom, it's going to be dark. And this one is going to be in the shadows right here. So right underneath the mouth right here, this is dark. It's kind of small. I can feel my hand kind of tightening up a little bit, which is not good because I was hoping to keep things looser. All right, let's just keep going. Because sometimes you end up you know, like really paying attention to the details and then you lose focus of the whole drawing. 
So that's when you gotta zoom back out and just you know get a wider view of things. Okay, so here's her chin. Down. Her neck's gonna be right around here. Okay, and then her hair's gonna be right here. Here's flowing down here. So I'm giving this direction here. The hair is going this way. Let's bring in some highlights. I'm just gonna add some highlights right here. So this thing's gonna curve. It's gonna curve in. So this part's gonna be a little bit darker, which is good because it will bring out the chin right here. Okay, so this is dark, lighter, and then here's the highlight, and then it's gonna recede back in here. It's gonna come in here. This part's darker, and then this part of the hair flows out. I know it's not exactly like the, the photo, but it's okay. Okay, so let's keep moving. Uh, let's go back up. Let's maybe add a little bit more hair, and then I'll come back into the face, because that is the most important part. I don't want to spend too much time on the hair, but it's kind of nice to just have something, you know, even though it's just a few lines. Okay, so this is this part right here in the shade. Okay, so let's add some more detail right here. This is pretty flat. I know in the photo it's pretty white, but there's actually, if you look closely, you'll be able to see those subtleties in the the form here. So right here, darker right here, curls up. This part's a little bit darker. This part's a little bit darker. This is the temple area. And then here's the eye coming down here. All right, the ball shape right underneath the eye, slightly darker here. Right here, slightly darker. And then here's the cheeks. It's a really light on my hand. I hope you guys can see this in the camera. So right here, I'm coming, I'm just working myself way down. This one's darker right here, right on the corner of the lip. So now I'm seeing more. This is dark here. This whole part is a little bit darker. So I'm really light on my hand. I hope you, you guys can do that when you join this. Your chin is really sharp, so let's try to get those lines in a little bit cleaner. I don't know if it really looks like her, but <laughs> I think it is kind of like a pretty face. So here, right here, let's see, come down. All right, let's frame this and this, you know, these little hair right here. Here, come across, looks like it's slightly higher here. So I'm not going to put too much detail in the ear right now. Also, because if I shade this in and when I go in, I, you know, my hands going to get all dirty. All right, so I think it's got an overall, you know, kind of like a base shading. And now let's get back in there and hit it a little bit harder. And then we'll add another layer of shading to it. Darker here. So you can actually leave, you know, this kind of glamour photos. Once you make the eye dark, you can actually leave the rest of the face, like the nose, you know, really light, and it'll still look good. Just make the eyes and the and the lip, you know, just put all your effort into that. Yeah, I think her eyes are a little bit slanted down more, that's why I'm missing the lightness here. Push it, push this corner a little bit up. Okay, so I'm still doing the wiggly shapes. I think her eyebrow is a little bit longer and goes up a little bit more. That actually makes it look more like her.
darker here, the eyeball inside. See highlight. Fixing the position a little bit better, just cleaning it up. The eyelashes, I'm just gonna draw these little flicks. I don't wanna draw in too harsh of a line there. Right here, corner. Okay, this one's gonna go out a little bit more. Let's make our eye a little bit bigger. Which is always nice. <laughs> Make the uh, drawing a little bit prettier. All right. Yeah, so the eyes popping out. Let's add a little bit more detail here. In here, slightly darker. It's gonna come down like this. This is dark. This is white right here. Although it's not as white. Asian face is a little bit flatter here, so you don't get that big highlight. Let's push in a little bit harder on the Okay, now let's work on the other one. So here's the corner again. Of course, dark hair. Here's the highlight. Yeah, I'm kind of missing on the lightness of her. Dark. Right here, gotta make this a little bit darker to bring out the bridge of her nose. Dark here, line, and then here's the brow. And again, here's the hair. Okay, so here's the cheeks, and then this part's dark, but I'm kind of hesitant on drawing too much hair right now. All right, so let's move down to her lip, and then we'll really pop that out, and hopefully it'll balance everything in. Actually, be close to done. Okay, so inside, really dark. See how once I make this dark, this it becomes lighter. I mean, it's overly bright, but you can see that bounce light, right? It just the lip just kind of pops out, which is cool. Dark here, slightly lighted in here. This is actually very important. I hope you guys can see this. This little right here, this little curve, because that's where the lip upper lip right here kind of folds over so that's why this one this part's a little bit darker here and then it becomes light here because now it's the bottom and we got to shade this this thing comes around the chin is round here so those little things really help okay, so let's see darker darker here and then make some lines some texture. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't really look like her, does it? <laughs> it looks like an American face. Let's see what's going on. Hard, harder to pinpoint. Uh, if I look at it later, I'll probably be able to see it. You know, you look at it with a fresh eye. Sometimes 
then when you when you're looking at it for so so long you kind of see a lot of things wrong okay so let's add a little bit more detail to the air so I'm just gonna shade it I'm gonna try to not to draw any harsh lines and then by making this soft you know we're gonna be our eyes gonna be gravitating toward you know what is darker and it's gonna bring our eye into the face more so that's why usually um you know when you guys are drawing at ears and stuff um just yeah don't don't make it too sharp you know just leave it a little bit blurry sometimes because if you put too much detail on it you're gonna end up taking it away from the face her earring you know I'm, I'm not even gonna draw that some hair I'm gonna turning turning my pencil just to get slightly sharper edge the hair flowing down so, so this part's gonna flow in this is going up tucks right behind the ear and then this part fold over the ear and this is dark here all right and as I'm drawing this I'm still trying to decide how much shading I want to do to the hair I'm just kind of blocking it in right now I know the hair is curvy and you know you see me draw these straight lines I'm just trying to block things in and it's easier to draw straight lines and then once you have these lines then you can you know go in and correct them and round things off but it's actually kind of nice I like these kind of um, straight guidelines anyway you know when it's straight like this it just makes your curvy line a little bit more attractive Gives it more contrast. Here it's gonna end here. All right, so I don't know how much. I'm trying to decide how much to keep going on this because I kind of like this right now. So that's the thing, right? Do I want to stop, or do I just want to push the hair, or do I just want to, you know, add some more detail to the face? So. Since I can't decide, I'm just going to go back to the eye, which is going to be the most important part. So you can't go wrong by adding more detail to, to the eye. So let's try to do that then. Maybe if I switch to... Uh, Maybe like a 2B. Yeah, let's try that. All right, so I'm going to switch to a 2B. Oh, it's a little bit too sharp right now. So if I go over the eye with a 2B, um, because it's a slightly harder pencil, it's going to hit some spots that my 4B is not able to touch on the paper. And that's going to help to fill things in. Because the 4B is so soft, it just kind of breaks on the surface. So now I can actually go in and shade in a little bit more, get some cleaner lines, fill up the spaces a little bit better. To the corner, even the eyeball, slightly sharper. Okay, and then maybe a little bit more on the other side. This eye is kind of behind the hair, so I don't want to. It's okay if I actually don't put in too much detail. But let's fill this in a little bit, make it a little bit softer. So filling in the areas. Very light on my hand. So the nose, I kind of left it pretty white. 
So let's add in some highlights right here. Um, some little bounce light that will really help to bring out the shape. And since we've done that to the eyes, I need to come down and let's do that to the lip as well. Make it a little bit, just a little bit more shading. Back to my 4B. Just bring out the chin a little bit more. Jawline. All right, so I think I'm gonna leave it like this. Um, just the rest is a lot of grunt work, <laughs> which I might do uh, later, but for now I'm just gonna leave it because the rest is just hair and yeah, it's not a lot of fun. And Definitely not, fun, not a lot of fun to draw and probably not a lot of fun to watch also. So, All right, so I'll just leave it like this. And yeah, too bad it doesn't look like her, but you know, it is a very pretty face nonetheless. And I especially like the eyes, this part, I think the uh, prettiest part of the face. And the lips okay, but as long as we have those two features, I think the rest is okay. We don't really care about the rest, right? <laughs> okay. All right, so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this little drawing and uh, I will see you next time.